What's up guys, welcome back to Minute Watch. And before we get into it, just want to show you something real quick. Uh, this is a happy, happy peanut shirt. This is the happy peanut shirt I've been working on. I uh, finally ordered the one that had a material that was acceptable to me. And if you want a happy peanut, you give me a super happy peanut shirt. Uh, I'll put a link to my temporary store in the uh, in the about section below. But I'm super, sto I'm super stoked on it. I'm trying to make something with Uncle Jimmy Turtle in it, but uh, it's just... Uh, it's uh it's proving difficult so anyway back into it uh, these are more Barton's watch bands that uh, the good guys at Barton uh, were so gracious to send me so let's get right into it this is the chocolate canvas on my citizen NY 2300 and uh, I think it looks fantastic black dial chocolate bands I think look really good here's the back of the of the of the band here they got their stamp and uh, I believe that's uh, that signifies the size, I think, the 20, maybe? I'm not sure. I don't have another size, so I can't uh, compare the two. But quick release for uh, for these for all of the Barton's two-piece bands. And I think it looks really good. Let's put it on my wrist here. And uh, get this sucker on here. I've kind of already, <laughs> I kind of already ruined this band. Uh, I got it caught on something and I stripped one of the... Uh, one of the stitchings out. Uh, I'm an idiot, but whatever. I'll still use it. See, I stripped that one out right there. I'll just burn it. <laughs> but ooh, yeah, that looks good. Oh, I don't have light down here. What's up with that? Fixed. There you go. Yeah. All right. What do you guys think about that one? Uh, okay, next band. All right. Here we got the. What is this called? This is the. This is the saddle color with white linen. Stitching with or with linen stitching, saddle with linen stitching. It's a, uh, it's it's very nice on my Steinhardt Ocean One Thirty Nine. I think it looks really really good. I think it matches this watch pretty good. What do you guys think about that? It's, it has an almost semi gloss appearance. Not really a semi gloss, but kind of almost there. It's smooth. It doesn't feel like it's gonna catch dirt or anything, uh, easily. Uh, very pliable. This one's very pliable and soft. Much like all of Barton's leather bands. Here's the underneath. Top grade leather. Quick release as usual. Got the Barton watch bands logo on there. And uh, yeah, let's put it on my wrist. See how it looks. Let's give it a bit of a curvy McCurvers in here. <laughs> been fighting some sicknesses, guys. I've been sick for the past couple couple weeks. Uh, so struggling to make videos, <laughs> struggling to life basically. And uh, there you go, boom. Hmm. Yep. Think it looks pretty good on the Barton saddle colored watch band. What do you guys think about that? All right, next one. All right, guys. We've seen the gingerbread before, but I wanted to get another one, the bigger one, to uh, just. Show you what it looks like when when it's a 22 millimeter. It does look different when it's a 22 millimeter. It has more of a more of a oof feeling to it. The gingerbread strap is kind of almost has a suede feel to it. Really, really slick. I really like that. It's really cool. And uh, it just, it just, it's. I think it's. Uh, I can't words right now. <laughs> but uh, quick release of, as usual. There's the, the logos and stuff as as you've seen before, but uh, I really like the gingerbread strap. I don't know how the coloring in the video is doing, but I will correct everything to look as as proper as possible for what my eyes are seeing. Anyway, for all I know, I could be like ridiculously off with, with my coloring and how I see versus how you folks see. But I'm gonna do it how uh, words. <laughs> there you go. Gingerbread Gingerbread on the Sari 055, which is one of my favorite watches because it doesn't know what it is. It's just kind of hanging on in the universe, just existing, and so am I. So, what do you think about that, Maples? Yeah? All right, next one. All right, the next one we have is their Navy 22 millimeter strap. Very nice. I like this on my, uh, <clears throat> on my, SNZH53 mod with the LCBI loomed insert and the Crystal Times 
here code at Sapphire Dome. Let's just let's just do the slow roll porno music. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Get that, would you just look at it? Mm-hmm. Alright. <laughs> alright, alright. The second time I did that. But yeah, their navy strap is really nice. It's, it's probably a little bit more blue in this camera, but it's it's very navy, very dark blue, super nice. Has a good feel to it. Feels it feels more like the gingerbread strap, uh, almost suede like, not quite there yet, but almost there. Really super nice strap. Really like this. Let's put it on my wrist here. And uh, the hardware on these straps are pretty good. Uh, for the price, you're not going to get much better than that. Especially because they have quick release. I like a good quick release. Quick, re quick release. Quick releases are good. In and out, pop up. So yeah, there you go. Uh, the coloring is a little bit off between the uh, watch and the and the strap, but that's okay. You don't you, can, you don't have to be perfectly matched. But the the dial and the the dial and the uh, strap works really good. You can't really see uh, the coloring of this dial in this light because of that crystal, but it works really really good. I'll take it off one more time. Yeah. All right. Navy with white linen stitching, 22 millimeters on my SNZH mod. All right, guys, here's where things get a little bit interesting. White, white strap. I was actually just really curious about how this one will look. And uh, glad I did. This white leather strap from Barton, or band from Barton, is uh, has a more solid top feel to it. It's, it's like almost... It's like almost uh, semi-gloss like the other straps, so it doesn't feel like you'll get too much dirt on it. And uh, if you do, it should be easy to wipe off. I don't know. We'll see. I may wear it just to see how well it holds up against dirt and stuff. But um, yeah, it's on my Alpha GMT. One of the first watches I've got, uh, I've received in my watch, my watch loving career. Still works just fine. A lot of people complain that the, the Alpha GMT is, is garbage and it breaks after like a year. Had this for like three years, it still works just fine. <laughs> the bezel is rubbish though. The bezel has a lot of play though. I probably could fix that, but eh, not a big deal. So let's just put it on my uh, my wrist here, my, my pathetic little tiny, tiny wrist. Toothpick wrist. So kind of an interesting situation here I feel like I'm wearing I feel like I need to also put on white shades and be one of those D bags uh, but uh, I think it actually looks pretty good would I wear it probably not it's not my thing but if it is your thing not a whole lot of people will will get a, a white strap and review it but I figure I, I should do it because some people want to know these things you know some people actually want to know these things um, yeah, I like the way it looks. It matches. I like when things match. I also like when things don't match. I just like things. I like things and stuff. All right, that's this one. Uh, next one. So guys, here's my favorite one, and it might not be your favorite one, but here we go. This is Barton's autumn colored leather, uh, not leather, canvas watch band. Autumn canvas watch band. Really dig it. The color might be off. I will do my best to correct it in post, but I can best describe it as a... Uh, Kind of a subdued coral. It may look orange in this video. I assure you, it's not. It's got a more of a pink hue, uh, kind of a coral, uh, desert, desert pink color. If if you know what I mean. If you've been to the Southwest, it's kind of got this deserty pink color. Um, it does rep it does represent autumn very well. It's a very cool, cool colored band. I really like it. It matches the 200 meter and the little icon below the citizen automatic absolutely perfectly um, that's I didn't think I would find a watch that this would work with and I still don't think it fully works with this watch but I think it's great for wearing it during the fall you go to your office wear your autumn colored watch people are like oh that's an interesting color and yeah it's this is what you wear in the in the fall so I think that's actually really cool I may I may wear this uh, I have a meeting tomorrow. I think I'm gonna wear this in, uh, at the meeting that I have tomorrow with the uh, with the lady. <laughs> uh, yeah, these canvas straps are really, really, 
comfortable guys so there we go let's grab let's bring them all back let's bring them all back together and uh, so you guys can see them all side by side and if you notice I have all of these watches nice and synchronized because that's how I roll sometimes that's how I roll sometimes sometimes not but that's sometimes yes so there you go guys Barton watch bands they're pretty cool put a link to all these in the about section below also with a shirt and thanks for watching Uh, we may have a problem. What's that? Have you seen Ted lately? No, no, I haven't seen Ted lately. Well, what's up? Yeah, he's been gone for like five days. I, I don't know where he is. I'm getting kind of worried. And don't worry about it. He's, he usually goes off on his own little adventures to wherever he's from, lays an egg or whatever. I don't know. He's, he's fine. Yeah, but... Okay, I gotta tell you something that I really, I, I really got him really mad. I threw a knife at him and I almost hit him. I didn't mean to do it. I was really mad. I was calling him all kinds of names. I called him a homo source rex like a thousand times uh, because he took the remote control and I was being really mean to him and he got mad at me and he told me he was going to run away and kill himself and he's never going to come back and I think that might be something that we might be concerned about. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what the frick, Uncle Jimmy? You shouldn't do that to your buddy. I know, but uh, I was just really mad he took the remote control because I, I was watching Golden Girls, and uh, he wanted to watch uh, something something called uh, uh, what was that? Lucifer. But I was like, uh, no, Golden Girls, man. I want to watch Golden Girls, and uh, I got really mad, and and I sent him packing. So I'm really sorry, but uh, I think we have a problem. Okay, well, you want to go look for him tonight? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, let's uh, let's. Let's pack it up. Let's go look for, look for Ted. Okay, I'll be in the car.